Thanks for stopping by the video today, everybody. What I'm going to be showing you how to do is create buildings with the new geometry nodes that are found inside of Blender. Now, this is not going to be an advanced tutorial at all. If you think it sounds difficult, it's, it's really not. I, I think that this is probably one of the easiest things you can do with the geometry nodes. And it's also not very hard on your computer. I, I found that some of the tutorials I've done have actually been pretty computer intensive, even though they're not supposed to. So I don't know you know, why that is like that right now. Hopefully that gets fixed in the future, but these ones are very, very easy. So if you've never done geometry nodes at all, we're gonna walk through the process of how to make this. And when you're done, you should have a building that looks similar to this. And you can come in here and you can change the seed so that the lights will change. You can also change how many levels there are here. So if this interests you, hopefully stick around to the end of the video and I hope you learn something. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to blender builds now you, you do need 2.93 for this you might be able to do it with 2.92 but i just really would not recommend doing that because some of the nodes i'm going to be using are not in uh 2.92 so there may be workarounds but it's just way easier to get the new version so what you're going to do is you're just going to go to you can type in blender 2.93 i think it's the first link here oh no sorry second one so blender builds and then you're gonna to go to Blender 2.93 beta, click on it, you should get the download. Um, and then once you get the zip, you can just open it up, put it wherever you want, and then the uh, the application should be inside of that zip file. All right, so now that that is downloaded, I have an empty file here with 2.93. So we are gonna be duplicating this cube around a little bit. I just dragged it up so that the bottom is going to be just on the, uh, the red and the green axis. So it's just sitting, the, the bottom of the cube, it's sitting at zero, zero, zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to the 3D cursor. Um, and then I'm also going to come up here to item. I'm going to make the height 2.35 meters. This part doesn't really matter. Um, you can kind of make this uh, whatever you'd like. I'm going to lock this and then I'm going to hit S3 so that it's 66 2.35. I've just been doing this for this, like playing around with these. You can use any amounts that you want. You are just going to have to change the numbers slightly to what I have because there is a couple of math nodes we're going to be using that for the time being, I just kind of hard coded the numbers in there because it's it's so simple that it's not a big deal. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to rename this to base. I'm going to duplicate a cube here. I'm going to rename this to, uh, we'll call this building variation just because we're going to be making multiple of them once we get this working and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to call this roof. Okay. So I'm going to click on my base. I'm going to name this base, make this red. I'm also going to go into material preview mode. So I'm going to go to building variation. I'm going to call this middle and we're just going to be using basic colors in the beginning because I found it was easier to get everything working and then go in texture and do all that stuff. So we're just going to be doing very basic uh, blocks with just basic materials on them for now because I found it was easier to just kind of work through it because we're going to focus on the geometry nodes and not focus on the texturing and the unwrapping and everything. So roof, that's good. Right. And then what I can do now, I'm going to grab these two and just drag them off to the side. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hit control A. I'm just going to go all transform to deltas because it doesn't move the, um, doesn't move the origin point, which is good. So once we do that, we can get started on the fun stuff. So I'm going to open up the geometry node editor. You can go up and do this. I just like to keep it. I normally keep everything kind of in this viewport. So we'll hit new. And then this is what you should have. So this geometry node is set to this red block here, the base. If you see, if I click over here, no geometry nodes. It's only on this one. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to drop in a join. So to get this menu, just hit shift a and it'll pop up. So what I like to do is just drop in a join. Now this isn't obviously going to do anything because we don't have anything to actually join it with yet. So what we can do is we can add in a line, drop it down here. And then we're going to take this empty socket here. And we're going to plug it in this. Why? Because when we take it from this empty slot into this green one, what's happening is it's actually going to make a variable, I guess we can call it. It's, it's just going to make it of the same type as count, which I think it's an integer. So 
what we can do is come in here then. And you should just have a little toolbar over here. I don't know if, yeah, hitting N will make it pop up. So if you don't see it, hit N. But we can rename it to levels, default uh, one minimum. Yeah, we'll leave it at one for now. And then the, the maximum will be 20. So the, you're actually going to get a slider now over here. So it's not doing anything yet because we haven't set it up. But if you go to the uh, modifier properties, we are going to be able to adjust this. So this is just setting the um, the maximum and the minimum. If you used Unreal Engine before, I, I get I really feel like this is similar to blueprints in a lot of ways. Uh, I feel like the the geometry nodes are a lot closer to blueprints and Unreal Engine than they are to textures inside of Blender. I, I really like it personally. It's been, like I said, a ton of fun doing this. So once we do that, we're going to get a point instance, and then we're going to select the object and we want the building variation. So we're going to go geometry, join geometry. Now, as you can see, all of this is popping up because I had already gone and set this to 20 or something. So just for the time being, let's set this to two. Now, the problem with this is, is that as you can see, it's, it's starting right at zero. So we do want to offset this a little bit. So I think the starting location was 2.35 because that's the height of our base. So if you hit that, it goes up. Now the offset is zero. Oh no, sorry, this is supposed to be 2.53. Do I have this? Right, okay, so we'll just line this up. So this is two. I might have something slightly off. It does seem weird that it's exactly two, but maybe that's just because I moved it down. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, now we increase the levels or decrease them. We can go up to 20. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. So I can go right up to 20 or down to one. Good. So this is this is functioning right now. So this is all you need for the actual middle buildings part. Um, and now we need to add a roof on there. So what you can do is we're going to add in another line. We're going to add in another join geometry like this, and we're going to add in another point instance. So we're going to hook that in here. We're going to select the object as the roof, and then we're going to take the geometry. Ooh. Okay, right, yeah. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to add in a math node. So the levels are going to come in here. We're going to multiply this by... 2.35. Now these numbers were two, um, two meters. So I may have messed something up, but we'll be able to adjust that soon. And you will be able to see it. Something I do want to mention about geometry nodes too, is that if you're in the process of setting the nodes up like this, don't be weirded out. If you see something like this happening, as you can see, like there are some stuff we have to link up. Like I feel like some people will see something like that happen. And it'll just immediately hit control Z. You know, th there are going to be times where it gets messed up, but then as soon as you just adjust a couple of the nodes and everything goes back to normal, so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, so we're going to do multiply. We're going to do math. Now, the reason why we did a multiply here is because if there's three levels, then we want the roof to be uh, up three times whatever the, the size of the block is. And then the reason why we're adding it is because we always want it to be higher than the base. So the base is the add, but then the levels are the multiply. This is going to control how many green blocks the blue block goes past because the blue one's the roof and then this is just going to make sure that the blue block is always higher than the red block so we'll plug this in and we'll call this 2.35 and i'll plug this into oh there is one more we need actually so you're going to do search and combine x y z because we're only interested in changing the z value so then we'll plug this in here and as you can see it's kind of starting to go, but this is only supposed to be one because we don't want 10 um, roofs. We only want one. So hit that. So let's see if I change this to two, change this to two. Did I? Yeah, see, I find that kind of strange because this number is here. So I might have just, uh, just might have messed that up a little bit. But again, it, it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to kind of be tweaking these numbers as I want anyways. And it is working. So you know, if you have to just play with a number just to get it to work, I really wouldn't worry about it. You you could make some some values like just a, a value node, but I, you know, I didn't really bother. Um, I, I, I think it's kind of overkill for this. And yeah, so I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, right. And so this is looking pretty good. This is really the 
the meat and potatoes of what we're doing like this it's it's now a functional building um if we scroll up then as you can see the levels are locked at 20 but no matter how high we go it's always going to have at least one green block and the red and the blue are always going to line up so that is part one part two is just going to be a little bit of texturing we're going to get a substance um a substance file just because I think it's really awesome to use those new building textures they have if you're unfamiliar with them I think you're really gonna like it but uh yeah it's the the hard part for geometry nodes is over so just to quickly walk through one more time what we did so I I will be putting this up in the drive there should be a link below um not only showing a picture of this workflow but also with lines just to show sort of where the red the green and the blue is following so What's happening with the red is it's going from the group input. So it's starting here. So this is the red block. It's going to go into this join geometry, this join geometry, and then the output. So the red is only going on the top level here. Now the green one, it's going from the levels value into line. So it's basically going straight up in a line and we've made it the, the start location and the offset so that it's going to perfectly like lap on top of one another. So no matter how high, how high the building goes, uh, you're never going to get them going into other blocks and everything will work there. And then this point instance is just telling it to grab this block. So as you can see here, if we zoom in building variation, you know, if I change this to base, I guess that's a bad example. If I change this to roof, you're going to get the blue blocks building variation though, because we want green. So I will save this quickly. So building color. And I'm going to make this file available as well, just so that uh, not only will you have the picture, but you can also play around with this. Right. And yeah, I guess the last thing to go over is the, the blue path. So we're multiplying the levels by two meters. So this is going to make the green blocks or sorry, this is going to make the red, the blue block go at least as high as the red block. Because if there's zero levels, then it's just going to be the red block and then the blue block on top of it. If there's one, it's going to make it go past that. If there's 10, it's always going to make it sit on that level. And this add is for just getting the blue block past the red one. And this will always be used. That's why we're adding it in. And then the combine X, Y, Z, this is just so that we can only affect the Z value and then plug zero, zero, you know, z sorry, yeah, zero, zero for X and Y. And then for Z, it's whatever value multiply and add bring in. And then we're just going to put that in a line as well, because it's basically saying go up in a line. That's what we're telling it to do here. And then we just point instance to the roof and then we join that geometry up. So this part is everything without the roof. This part is just the roof. And then also that last join geometry. Yeah. So if this is the first tutorial you've done for geometry nodes, I think you'll be surprised by how easy it actually can be. These can get extremely difficult, but I was really impressed with how easy it is to actually make these buildings. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys will stick around for part two. I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>